Mini. She is a Sharpay, as everybody can see. She's got a lot of some wrinkles and chubby face. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> And don't forget to turn my notification. Hey guys, it's Heidi and Danny here. Today we're going to be introducing you to all of our fur family members. Fish. <laughs> Scaly. And we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a background on each one of them so that you know how they came into our lives and like their ages and stuff like that. So, so well, we're like starting with. So here's my chubby boy Felix, <laughs> and he's not going to be in the video very much because he doesn't like to be held. As you or can see, he's just like literally screaming at her to be put down. He is not a very friendly cat because of where he came from. Um, so he is my oldest cat, he will be turning two in a couple days, but yeah, he's a little standoffish. Where he came from is, I actually got him as a surprise from Heidi and my dad and my mom. I had just recently lost my cat, Oliver. Um, so, the story is, my dad invited Heidi and told her to come to the store with him and my mom. I didn't and then, know. So I was kind of confused on because I asked my dad if I could go with them and he said no that I needed to stay home. Didn't they ask if you would like babysit or something? Um, nieces and nephews or nieces or something like that. Or they clean said. or something. Oh, they made up some excuse and said that I had to stay home and do this or that. And I was kind of like thinking like it's not fair and kind of annoyed why does Heidi get to go and I don't get to go, I have to stay home and clean or do the dishes or babysit or whatever. And, but I kind of didn't really think too much of it. I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, I'll just stay home then. Like, it's not that big of a deal to go to the store. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't really care that much to go to the store, even though I would rather go to the store than clean or babysit or whatever, but I just, but ended up staying. And then, so, it worked out in the end because I got a kitten, but... So anyways, like, what happened was when we got in the car, I mean, actually it was my dad's truck. When we got in the truck, um, my dad showed me the picture of Felix as a kitten, and he's like, so, we thought, since Danny lost Oliver, that, and we saw this kitten online, and he looked really, really similar to him, so we thought we'd surprise her, like, by going and getting him and bringing him home to her. And, like, they asked if that was a good idea, like, they asked if it was a good idea or whatever. And I was like, yeah, like, yeah, she'd be, like, really excited. And she would love that, like, um, obviously not to replace him because you can't really replace any pet. Like, you can't replace them exactly, but you can love them and, like, have them fill the hole in your heart and just, like... Because no animal is going to be exactly the same as your previous pet that you lost. But anyways, um, so he looked good in the pictures and everything. And then, yeah, they like they must have like cleaned him and stuff before they took the picture and like made him look all clean and healthy and everything. Because when we got him, he because was not a healthy kitten. He, sadly, that wasn't the case because. When we got to the house, like, so my mom and dad stayed out in the truck, and I went and I knocked on the door and, like, went to go and get him, and let's just say I'm glad we took him, like, we rescued him, and I wish we could have gotten or rescued or whatever the other cats and stuff that were there because it just wasn't good, but... We, when I went inside to go and get him, like, he was terrified of people, and he wouldn't come to us, he wouldn't even come to them, 
So like that makes you also wonder like how he was treated before because they, he wouldn't even go to them. He was like terrified of like everyone and he was like really skinny. He had really like nasty, goopy, like watery eyes. He had a runny nose. He would um, do like this sneeze, coughing, wheezing thing like all the time. He had like infection or whatever like on his ears and he just and he stayed so small for like a very long time we thought maybe something was wrong with like him like we didn't like we thought we didn't know if he was gonna make it or whatever but because he was, would not grow like for weeks and i want to say even maybe like two three months he just stayed so tiny and just wasn't growing and i honestly didn't know if he was gonna live and so anyways, when they finally caught him, like, he was hiding under the couch, and they had to, like, lift up the couch and, like, grab him before he, like, could take off running, because the first time he went under, like, a chair or whatever, they tried to grab him, and he was just, like, running everywhere around the room, like, terrified, trying to get away, and then he went under, like, uh, a recliner chair, and then, like, they had somebody stand there, and then somebody else lift up the couch, and then they hurried and grabbed him, and he was like really terrified, and then I was like, I kind of thought about like not taking him and just being like, going back and telling my parents like that he wasn't healthy, like was sick or whatever, but then me being the animal lover I am, and obviously I knew Dion when, so I didn't want to leave him there or anything. So I took him, and I had a coat on, and I, like, put him in my coat and, like, held him close to me. And he was trying to get away, like, the whole time, and then I went back out to the truck and got in. And then he was, like, crying and meowing, and, like, he was hissing and, like, scratching me all up. And I was just, like, holding him, like, because he was completely terrified. And then by the time we got home, he was, like, obviously settled down a bit. And, and I was so excited when and then I brought him out. She brought him in the house and she like just walks up to me and she has and this like, him out. like smirk on her face. And I was kind of like, what? Like, why are you so happy? And then she just like pulls him out from under her coat. And I just like, I was so, and I was so like, happy. And he's yours. <laughs> and excited. And I just like, I kind of like squilled, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. But you started. I think you like started crying almost because he looked so much like Oliver, and you're just like, yeah, oh I was gosh. so happy. But and for the first little while when we got him, like the first maybe week or two, he was still like skittish and stuff when we'd go to feed him, and like he didn't really want to come near us like, or anything. Had, but then it was like, when, didn't we keep him in like the the back, the sunroom? Yeah, we kept him in the sunroom, and then. Um, so then we kept feeding him and talking to him and just and sitting out there with him. When food member, he would like shove his entire yeah. face into it like he was starving. Yeah. And that's... his entire face, like clear up to his ears, would be covered in wet food. And it would and get then... all slick and stuck so then we'd have to wash <laughs> So his that face. it would dry like that because he didn't <laughs> clean himself off either. So he would like, his face would be like slicked back with wet food <laughs> and then it would I dry. Wish I should have took a picture I could insert, but um, yeah, so there was that. And so then... like every time we fed him, then one of us would have to like get a warm, like, wet washcloth and, like, wipe his face off and, like, clean him every time he would eat. Yeah, and then so, like, he wouldn't eat for a while first, remember? Like, we tried to offer him even, like, cooked chicken and stuff. Yeah. And he wouldn't eat it, and so we were, like, I think he worried. was just too scared because it was, like, and then we would just go sit out there with him and just kind of talk to him and kind of reassure him, try to get him to come to us and take food from us and stuff. And then after doing that for a little while, he became, like, once he realized he could trust us, because it was mainly just me and Heidi who would spend time with him, Heidi, he became super, super clingy as a kitten. Oh, and yeah. so, like, every time we would leave the sunroom, he would just meow and meow and meow until and we would, would go back attention. out there. And he would be, like, super friendly and purring and would always want to be on our lap and stuff. And then he matured. Wait, stop it. And became kind of like standoffish oh again, God. like a little butt. <laughs> and now he prefers to just be a couple feet away from us at all times. And 
Occasionally he'll purr and be all friendly and come and sit on my lap, but it's like, people. if he does that, it's like a couple minutes and then he just hops down and goes and does his own thing. So yeah, that's this little buddy, <laughs> little Felix. Next is Cortana. And she is, well she started off as just my boyfriend Aaron's cat, but then she quickly became both of ours because we both love her and care about her so much. Show her the video more. She came into this family because with two other of my cats that I'm going to be showing in this video, um, Aaron had wanted one of them, one of their litter mates, but um, my sister had ended up already telling my mom that she could take the kitten that he wanted, so then my sister felt bad and surprised Aaron with Cortana. And she's just the love lovable cat. She was so friendly as a kitten, kind of. <laughs> like a typical kitten. She was friendly, really. She just she likes to cuddle. And she's friendly. And she's about five or six months old, I think about five. Her birthday is sometime in May, that's when she was born. And we've had her for, the lady that ended up giving her to my sister who gave her to us, she got rid of her when she was only six weeks old. Mm -hmm. So so she like wasn't really So weaned. funny story is she actually, she was, but... she was drinking milk from um, my sister's cat that had had kittens, so like, so you can tell she still needed to like nurse. Like but. she was only six weeks old, and you're supposed to not wean. They're not supposed to wean the kittens until like eight weeks old. Like for them to be able to be like all the way healthy or whatever, for it to be actually like, they just do better if they're weaned at eight weeks old. I mean, like if there's certain like reasons that you you have to wean them at like six weeks old she's purring right now then i guess it'd be fine but i from what i know it just they just do better if they're weaned later she's got the fluffiest tail she is so like, gorgeous so the fluffiest tail ever out of all of the cats well mm -hmm. two of our cats don't have tails but <laughs> <laughs> but sh her tail is extremely fluffy but yeah so that's how we got cortana and hopefully we have her for a long time, because we love her. And the last two members of the cat family, the, two, the last two cats that we own are Harvey and Milo. And they are from my sister's cat that we were just talking about that was nursing Cortana. And she's already purring. The um, brothers. And they both don't have tails. They were both born without tails. <laughs> so they're the tailless brothers. Um, <laughs> they are both five months old. And Milo wanting to be is our friendliest cat. He's always walking around our feet and rubbing up against us and purring. I wonder if you can hear him purring. Can you hear him purring? Probably not. But yeah, he purrs like hey, non-stop. No, 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 no. He just pawed the camera, he wants it to fall. He's like, I'm done here. He purrs non-stop and just is always so friendly, always wants to be on your lap or have you hold him or pet him or, and he'll just look at you and just meow and meow until you pick him up or show him some attention. And he's nice and great and quirky with the, we have a big water dish for all the animals that we have just in our kitchen. and. When we fill it up to water him to get a drink, he literally has to climb all the way in the water dish. And it's weird because he's a cat, but he likes to be standing in the water and digging in it and playing in it. And then he walks around the house and tracks water all over the house. So it's like, <laughs> that's fun to clean up. So it's like every time he wants a drink or every time he just wants to play in water, goes right to that dog dish and plays in it. He tracks it all over the house, and Harvey, he's more of our most chill cat, he, it's like, just go with the flow, whatever, doesn't really care that much for attention, though, kind of more like Felix, 
but if you pick him up and he just instantly just cuddles into you every time, <laughs> he doesn't even try to fight it. He'll He's just curl up just wherever. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he doesn't like you. But I love He's you. A mama. He's a mama's boy. But so yeah, I always pick him up and just cuddle him because he's basically the only one who will just hold still and let me just hold him and cuddle him and you he's, know. It's your turn. Yeah, he's just more of a laid back cat. Not really feisty or doesn't even really play that much. She just likes to lay around and be lazy and sleep. Always sleeping. Did you say how old they were? Yeah, they're five months old. Their birthday is when's their birthday again? Their birthday's in May. Yeah, their birthday's in May, so the beginning of May. They all of our animals are typically kind of young. Pretty young, yeah. With the oldest being like what? Uh, five? No, four. four. Yeah, so yeah, four. That's Harvey. That's my little Harvey boy. And he's just a cuddle bug. That's what I call him. <laughs> up is Skylar. She is a lab wine rhymer. <laughs> I can't say that word. She's a mix. Um, so, let's get a better shot of her. That's Skylar. Look at the camera. Skylar. Look at the camera, pretty girl. And she is four. And she has been a pretty good dog her whole life. Like she listens really well. She is really smart, actually. She's but very, very smart. She did go through the chewing stage, which she destroyed like a lot of hoses that were my dad's and chewed up like the lawnmower bag, ripped it apart. Just like, but once she was done with that stage, it was she's been really, really good, really well behaved. Um. It's kind of funny the story with that as my dad kind of got a little bit sick of her chewing up everything and because she destroyed lots of things and basically threw a whole bunch of money down the toilet because he was always having to Brian buy new things. Hoses and she would chew them up. He'd go buy a brand new hose and then she would just chew it up and so wasted a lot of money and so he was kind of not very happy about that. And he wanted us to try to find her a new home, but me and Heidi were not going to go for that. We, mm -mm. we loved her. She was part of the family. We could not see ourselves getting rid of her. And nope. so what we did was we made an ad, took pictures of her, posted it online, posted it re her. as a rehoming page thing. Showed my dad, showed my, showed dad my mom that we put it online, that we were waiting for people to see if And the moment my dad walked away, we deleted that ad. Yep. And the so next couple days, my dad would be like, is anybody interested in her yet? Does anybody want her? And we'd be like, no, nobody nobody's said anything. Nobody's, nobody's commented on it. Nobody's messaged us. And But, like, that's impossible because there wasn't an ad because it deleted. Because we deleted it seconds, minutes after we had posted it. So we weren't getting rid of her. She was our dog, like, we love her. She's part of the family. But everybody loves her now. Like, she's grown out of that stage. She doesn't chew up anything anymore. She listens really well, and the teenage years were rough. <laughs> the teenage years. <laughs> yeah. Um, she basically was born potty trained. Like, yeah, she never, we never trained her to, and she's potty trained. Like, she doesn't go potty in the house. In your house. Yeah. So, like, she just knows. And, and she's super, super smart. Like, she picks up on things, like, really, really, really fast. We've taught her lots of tricks. She knows how to beg and high five. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Um, what else does she She kind of knows fetch, but then she likes to just kind of run away. Lo lay down, sit, like, all the typical ones. I started teaching her rollover, but then she just is lazy. And she wouldn't. So she just lays there and stares at you like, I'm like can't doing that. Right now. Exactly. But yeah, so she's really behaved and she is an inside dog now. Oh my gosh, if you try to like, if she doesn't want to go for a walk, she'll just lay there and let you drag her. Yeah, she's a stubborn, bullheaded dog, but we love her and she's smart. Huh. 
Hmm. And next up is Minnie. She is a Sharpay, as everybody can see. She's got <laughs> lots of wrinkles and chubby face. Her birthday's in March, so she's only two. So she's been through she's gonna be quite three a bit. soon. In a couple mm. months. <laughs> yeah, whenever she's excited and like saying hello, she'll like put your entire arm like in her yeah, mouth. She'll just be like, like she won't bite or anything. She'll just like she just hold it <laughs> and then just hold it. It's like really weird, but it's so, it's so it's excited. It's so cute. <laughs> and she talks back. You oh talk to God. her and she'll start like talking back to you. It's kind of funny sometimes, but like I was trying to get her to go in the other room earlier and I was like talking to her. I was like, Minnie, come here, come on. And she's just like, rah. And like pawn at the air. It was so funny. Like, no, so I don't want to. <laughs> she has so much personality and attitude, though. It's so funny. Yep. But hopefully, she just has a happy, healthy life with us. And she can just relax no on the couch. Puppies, obviously. She just curls up on the couch and sleeps every night. So she's in a good home now. The last one that has fur is my baby Annie. She. <laughs> She's gonna be one at the end of. She's gonna be one at the end of this month. So I've had her for a couple, for almost a year. It's been like ten months. She is. Um, she's sisters with Sophie. Her dog that she has. They we got them at the same time. They're from the same litter, even though they look nothing alike anymore. And she is so tiny. Like she was the run, I think. Wasn't she? Yeah, what was she, like three pounds mm -hmm. last time we went to the vet? And, and Sophie's like, Sophie's always been like double her weight, so. And she's so tiny. She's, she's like smaller than all of the cats I have. She's just my She's like baby. your typical little tiny chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, little purse of dog. She's not full chihuahua. She is a chihuahua and a dash hound mix, a chihuahua. That's what she is. She's a little butthead that likes to chew up everything even now. So we can't leave anything on the ground or in any reach that she'll get to because it will be chewed up. Like the other day she chewed up um, my boyfriend Aaron's sunglasses that he just bought. <laughs> he said he heard a noise, looked over, and she was on the ground and chewing on him. <laughs> and so she's a little butthead, but... We love her the same, and that's little Annie. Just <laughs> big old ears. Yeah, she needs to grow up with her ears. So now time for my animals. Um, this is Sammy. She's she is like the sassiest, most attitudey cat you'll ever meet, and she's already trying to scratch me. Ow! <laughs> See, she is a little butthead, but she's so lovable. Um. She's four years old, she turned, I mean, her birthday was last month, so she's barely four months, I mean, four years old. I wish she was still four months old, she was the cutest little kitten ever. We got her um, around the same time I got Oliver. Yeah, and then we lost him. So, with her, my, the story of how I got her is my cousin's, um, they adopted a stray cat that started coming around their house and like feeding it and stuff. And then they found out that it was pregnant and it ended up having kittens. And so Sammy was one of those kittens and I didn't, we didn't have any cats at the time and I begged and begged and, no, we had Oliver. We had Oliver, that's it. Yeah, because my mom and dad found, or my mom found Oliver in our wood pile and, and then we ended up keeping him. But anyways, we... I begged and begged and begged my mom that Oliver needed a friend, <laughs> and so my mom said that and it was just like love at first sight with her. Yeah, and then because I loved her from day one since she was born, and I would always like love on her and go down there and like hold her and stuff, and say she was mine. And then and you were I was gonna, gonna take her, take her home. home. <laughs> and then I was gonna take her home when she was old enough to be taken home, even though I knew my parents wouldn't let me. Which they but ended up letting us. I begged my mom and begged and begged and begged and showed her pictures and like because I had just a really crappy um, camera or phone or whatever. But anyways, and then so I finally convinced my mom 
to let me keep her. And so I took her home when she was ready and she's been my baby ever since. Yeah, but she lives with me because Heidi, I just recently started becoming um, allergic to cats, which is really, really awful because they're my favorite animal. And I'm allergic to my baby, which is the worst thing in the world. The reason, the only reason I'm not like dying right now with all the cats and everything is because I took allergy pills. I took an allergy pill before, like right when I got down to daddy's house. And so it's kicked in and so I'm not miserable. So that's why I'm not dying right now. But anyways, she's getting really, really annoyed and she's gonna probably attack me soon. You can yeah, hear her annoyed right now, but I'll show her one more time and then put her down. See how she's glaring at the camera? She's like, okay, I'm gonna kill you. But she is the sassiest, most freaking attitude cat there is, I swear. Oh yeah. But when she's, she's like really sassy, but she's really, really, really old. Oh, now she's gonna go back on the fish tank. I'll see if I can find a picture of her when she was a kitten. She was the most adorable kitten in the so whole world. Um, yeah, and then so we offered to just, we're like, well, hey, it's gonna break your heart if you have to get rid of her, so what if we just brought her down and she just lived with us, and yeah, I couldn't she could still be yours. rehoming her because and she's so, my baby. Yeah, I've and so she just lives with us. I've known her since she was born, and I've had her for four years, so. Um, and, yeah. So, that's my Sammy. She's also spayed, so. No kittens for her. She was spayed as soon as she was old enough because Basically, like all of our animals. I don't do the whole reproducing thing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we had to go to my house to introduce you to my three little rascals. Um, so we're gonna start with Sophie. This is Sophie. Say hi. Say hi, Sophie. Um, she's Annie's sister from the from the same litter as Annie. Um, she wants to get in the back. So, and this is Ollie, old man Ollie. So, I forgot to say, but Sophie is also a Chewini. She's a Chihuahua Dash Hound mix. So, yeah, she's a Chewini. Um, Maya is also a Chewini. She looks more like a um, Dash Hound, though, instead of the Chihuahua, and Sophie looks more like the Chihuahua. I'm not sure which one of her parents was which, because they didn't really ask, but, um, yeah. She's five years old, she'll be turning six in January, her birthday's January, I think it's like January 1st, and so that's all with Maya, and Ollie, Ollie's six years old, he's my old man Ollie, he is a terrier, a uh, Pomeranian Shih Tzu mix, so he's kind of got a, quite a few breeds in him, and he's only six years old, but he acts like the oldest man in the world. He's my little gremlin dog. Um, he just he loves to sleep, and he's grumpy. Like he acts more like a cat than a dog. Like he doesn't really like all the attention so yeah this I don't really have too much to say on their background except for like with Ollie and Maya I still have their old owners like their old mama's contact like and I still like update her and stuff like how they're doing because she wants me to because obviously she loves them still and she didn't really want to get rid of them but she had to so yeah, that's all I have to say about them. So these are my three little rascals.